So what's happening today? Motorbike for daddy. Again? Yeah. Oh no. I love you so much. Because oh. I, I buy you a motorbike. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I like motorbikes. Yeah, today is an exciting day because I have a bike delivery coming. So we're just waiting in. Uh, it's not great weather outside. It is a bit rainy, but hopefully I'm going to get out and ride. Uh, my new bike. Yeah, so the uh, new bike has arrived and uh, as you can see, it's pretty orange. It is a KTM Duke 790. What do you think, Sophia? You like it? Yeah. Yeah? Mm, get Sophia's approval. So I'm gonna take you around it, have a quick look at it. Oh, let's take a look. And then I'm gonna take it out for a ride and we'll go for a first ride review. Nobody's gonna save Morning guys, welcome back to another glorious winter's day. Nine and a half degrees today. And I am out on my other new bike, which is the KTM Duke 790. So I picked up a uh, 2019 model, uh, brand new. And thanks to Will at m and Motorcycles in Swansea uh, for doing me a great deal on this bike. Uh, shout out to those guys. And so yeah, I picked up something a little bit more sporty than my V-Strom and uh, everyone rants and raves about this bike and uh, so I wanted to see what it was all about. I wanted a middleweight because um, I don't have any no claims at the moment so I, uh, I couldn't even look at the Super Duke. So yeah, this is the middleweight uh, parallel twin from KTM. It's 790cc. Uh, it's what's called the scalpel so uh, it's a pretty aggressive riding position in terms of your feet but the handlebars are not pretty straight you're leant forward a little bit the seats angled forward a little bit and it comes with a whole host of electronics which I have never really had on a bike before so it's gonna be interesting to try them out so come along join me for this first ride and uh, I'll let you know my thoughts on the bike so first up ergonomics obviously it's a naked so you're gonna get that cracking wind blast that's that's to be expected on a naked bike um, the ergonomics are fairly aggressive for a naked bike my the angle of the foot pegs is leant forward a little bit feels almost like a sports bike and uh, the bars are pretty narrow um, pretty straight the riding position is quite comfortable uh, the seat's pretty hard it's 825 millimeters so not particularly tall but it's um, I'm six foot my knees are in sort of a bent back position, a little bit like a sports bike position actually. Um, but you feel sort of lent over the front uh, and that's going to put lots of weight on the front tyre so you've got good uh, corner entry dynamics. So yeah, it's 790cc, 790cc parallel twin engine and I've got to say, it sounds nice. Normally I'm not a big fan of parallel twins, uh, the sound of them. Um, this one sounds nice. Um, they've done something uh, with the engine uh, and uh, basically it, it sounds more grunty like a V-twin uh, so pretty fantastic uh, I love the sound of it this is the first bike I think I've ever had where I'm thinking I might not replace the stock exhaust uh, it sounds it sounds beastly as it is uh, uh, it's got a 14 litre fuel tank which I've just filled up telling me I've got a range of 190 but I'm just coming out of town so that's going to improve and it'll probably improve on running as well once I've uh, got past the first service which is at 600 miles or a thousand kilometers so yeah I'm gonna head out on some open roads towards Wales and see what it can do uh, one of the big things with this bike is uh, it's got the TFT screen 
It's the first bike I've had with a TFT and I find it pretty easy to use. You've got a big speedo, the rev count is up the side there. And uh, I tell you what, this bike wants to go. This review is not going to be a technical detailed review because I can already feel it. The bike wants to go. And guess what? It's got a quick shifter on the upshift and it's got an auto blipper on the downshift. Again, first bike I've had with that on. So it's going to be interesting to see. But in a minute, I'm going to start playing with the auto blipper and the uh, quick shifter and see how smooth it is. It's 105 horsepower and the bike feels super lightweight. Um, it's 165 kilograms dry and it feels it. If this bike, 790cc engine in it, all these electronics on it, unbelievable kit basically included in this bike. Um, and it weighs the same as my old Ninja 400. Uh, but it feels lighter and oh my god does it want to go. It feels obviously way, way faster. As far as riding position, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, the tyres feel pretty okay. Uh, there was some comments about the tyres not being fantastic. They're Maxxis tyres rather than any sort of well-known brand. I think KTM have a deal with Maxxis. But the tyres feel okay. But we'll test them out in a bit when I'm going faster. But they feel fine. It's a pretty big fat tyre on the back wheel. Um, so there feels like initially there's plenty of grip on it. Like I say, it's 8 degrees. And... Uh, and I've only just got out on the bike, so it's still warming the tyres up a little bit. So we'll just cruise a little bit to put some heat into them. Uh, I'll do a little test on the brakes in a minute to see what they feel like. Because again, KTM have gone with, is it J1 brakes? A Spanish brand. They're quite well known, I think, but they're not Brembo's. Uh, the 890 Duke does have Brembo's on, so it would be interesting to ride that and see what the difference is. No one's behind me. Okay, yeah, they're, they're alright. The brakes are okay. Um... There's not huge initial bite on them. Let me just try that again just to see. Okay, yeah, they don't feel like you've got to give it quite a squeeze to get the get the power. Um, the initial bite is not really strong, but they stop you. Yeah, they're all right. They're okay. I wouldn't mind something a little stronger, but so the brakes are. I think you could possibly improve them. Uh, obviously, the 890's got Brembo's on them, so that will. Uh, if you're really into sort of wanting better brakes, the 890 is obviously going to be the choice. Quick shifter is smooth. I just shifted up and I'm only at low RPM and I read the manual the first time ever because it's got so much electronics on this bike and it said you should be shifting up above 2000 RPM but I pretty much, from what I've seen um, with, with quick shifters, you want to be revving it to get the best out of it, to get the smoothest shift. Um, but that was smooth at 3,000-ish three, 3, revs. Blippers, smooth as well, even at low RPM there. Very smooth. Wow. Okay. That is smooth. Now I know why everyone goes on about quick shifters and auto blippers. That is nice. If I can get rid of this traffic, I can see what the engine's like. Sounds nice. And it is definitely... I can, oh my God, this bike is definitely revving to go. It is, it wants to be revved, this bike does. So, talk about the TFT whilst I'm stuck in this little bit of traffic behind this crappy lorry, which is ruining my ride. Um, so yeah, you've got full TFT screen with a lot of uh, information on it. Uh, you've got, obviously, fuel gauge, engine temperature, or coolant temperature. You've got your rev counter coming up the side here. And you've got a big digital display for the speedo. Along the bottom you've got a clock, you've got temperature gauge, you've got trip meters, uh, you've got odometer and range. And then this bike has a bunch of riding modes, which again I've never had before. So you just quickly press select and you're into, uh, you've got data for your trips and stuff if you want. You can set up a favorites menu for quick access, which is pretty cool. And then you've got your ride modes here. Um, at the moment I'm only in street so the response on that is supposed to be um, it's, it's responsive but it's not full power the throttle is not fully responsive um, and the tra traction control is on a slightly higher setting so I'll go through that later and I'll switch it out from street to sport uh, and see what difference that makes the throttle response at the moment is nice and smooth it's not jerky so I'm pretty happy with that just for dawdling around which we're doing at the moment but we will whack it into um, sport in a section in a second and then you've got track mode 
um, which where the throttle response is, is very, uh, very quick apparently. Look, I can just nip up in the sh quick shifter. Um, the throttle response, it says extremely um, quick throttle response on the track mode. Um, and you can change the traction control settings yourself. You can um, put anti-wheelie on and off. Uh, and also you can put it into supermoto ABS mode where the ABS is switched off on the back wheel. So there is shed loads of stuff. I paid £6,749 for this because it's a brand new, but it's a 2019 model. List price is around about £8,000, £8 £8,500. You're getting a lot, a lot of bike for your money for that. That is great value. Um, man, it just feels so nimble. It just wants to be flicked. Feels like you're riding a, a very lightweight naked bike. I promise you this bike looks a lot better in the flesh than it does on any pictures you'll see. Uh, the pictures you see of it, even for me, I thought the front end looked nice, the back end looked eh. Um, it looks nice in real life. It looks aggressive, sporty. Uh, it looks a bit like a, like a praying mantis ready to attack. These roads are slippy today. Let's try the quick shifter. Yeah, like it, like it. That is nice. And then the auto blipper down. Perfect. Bye. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, I found a fun bike. This is a fun bike. Holy s***. It wants to go. It really wants to go. Dry up roads. Oh, it sounds nasty as well. It's got a grumble in it. It's like it's begging you to just attack the corners a bit more. I need some dry roads for this. This is freaking nice. Oh, let's go a bit. Let's go a bit. Whoa! Oh, that quick shifter is Oh, me, I'm not even touching the power. That has got some torque. That 790cc engine has got some torque in it, Jesus. Look, it's even made my voice go higher pitched. Oh, this bike is, this is a little beast. Oh, oh yeah. I like it, I like it a lot. Quick shift, oh God, these roads. Get me some dry roads and I am going to have some. It's so flickable. Just You just have to look where you want to go and it goes. Oh, man, this is a nice bike. <laughs> okay, so forget all the tech specs. Forget all the tech specs. It's not important. This bike is fun. I'm only at 6,000 and the power, the torque on it is freaking quick. This bike is, it's so light. That's why it's so fast. Oh, oh, I like it. Let's stop here and have a little look. I'm gonna, I'm hoping the roads are gonna dry up so I can, uh, did you hear that on the downshift? The blipper, it sounds sweet. Oh. That is nice. Gearbox is nice. Uh, you don't particularly need it because of the quick shifter and the blipper, but the gearbox is nice as well on that. Uh, and very quick and easy to find neutral. Okay, so I'm back. So it is, as I said, it's a 2019 KTM Duke 790. This is the exhaust I was talking about. Honestly, it looks so much better in real life than uh, than I was expecting. Even as I'm looking at this GoPro video now, it still doesn't quite do it justice. You need to check one of these out in real life because it looks a lot better. So, there it is. So you've got non-adjustable uh, WP forks at the front. They feel pretty nicely set up though. Uh, the rear shock, again, is non-adjustable but and uh it's, it's again it's set up nicely if you want to drive aggressively if you want to ride aggressively um it's relatively hard over some of the bumps so it's set up relatively hard um but it's not uncomfortable 
and it feels the whole bike just feels taut and the whole bike feels aggressive and ready to go seat height again is 825 millimeters um, I'm six foot 34 inch inside leg and um, let's just knock it off a second yeah 34 inch inside leg I'm six foot with a 34 inch inside leg and it's very very comfortable for me uh, if you're shorter than me smaller legs than me yeah it will definitely yeah it'll be fine just sit on one obviously a dealer it's a 790 cc parallel twin engine uh, it does I know what people say when they're saying it sounds a little bit more like a um, like a, um, a v-twin uh it's not it doesn't quite sound like a v-twin but when it gets going it sounds nice i i'm not even bothered about swapping out that stock exhaust you know i think i think it's all right it sounds even my wife said yeah it sounds loud and aggressive that bike does when i turned it on earlier um small caliper at the back seems fine uh i don't really comment on back brakes because who, who cares it does the job you know front brakes the initial bike they're 300 millimeter um discs with a four pot caliper uh radially mounted uh and uh they do the job uh i i wouldn't mind just a little bit more bite initially but i haven't bedded the brakes in yet so they might improve um with a bit more use or possibly switching out the pads to something else as well maybe put in like a sintered pad or something um the forks as i say they're nice they feel nicely set up that feels really taut i wouldn't want to change that to be honest if i was if I, even if I had adjustable forks on there, I wouldn't change anything. They feel really, really good. Uh, this, I like this bike. Just it feels quality. I know, like the 890 is going to have um, Brembo's and adjustable uh, adjustable forks and an adjustable shock and all that, and it's got the extra bits. And if you want that, great. I don't tend to mess with that stuff that much anyway, so I'm I'm not that bothered. I would like to try it out for the brakes though. Um, but the the amount of kit that you get with this bike and the finish looks really nice on it the quality it's the quality of the finish all the nuts all the bolts everything it just it looks premium it looks really nice this engine jesus it's a beauty uh even things like look look at the look at the brake lever it's nicely finished isn't it and the this almost looks like you've put on a third party rear set here it's it's really nicely finished uh, i can't complain about it at all um because I was going to put an Akrapovic can on this before I even got the bike, but oh, I don't know that I mean. I might just put an Akrapovic on still just to see what it sounds like, but it sounds good like this. From the front, it looks aggressive. See what I mean about it? It looks like a praying mantis. I like it. I really like the look of this bike. It's a good-looking bike. I know some opinions are split on it. I Honestly, I think this is a really nice-looking bike. It looks gorgeous. Go on, I'm going to... Go back out on the, on the bike now and go and try and find some rides. And I tell you what, ready to race. Yeah, you bet you are. Okay, let's, uh, I'm going to put it into sport mode. See what difference that makes. I've just seen a nice, I think it was a Panigale just go past. So let's go see if we can catch him up and uh, have a look at his bike. Front end wants to lift. Woo! <laughs> me. Wow. Where's he gone? Has he gone left or right? Let's assume he's gone left. We'll try and follow him. Auto blipper is smooth as you like. Let's go. See if he's over this way somewhere. Oh, it's got so much torque. I'm, I'm holding on. Ha, <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, it's so nimble, this bike. Now I'm getting used to the front brake as well. It's starting to feel a bit better. It's quick. This bike is quick, it's still got a lot to go, I'm only at 7,000 revs and it's got quite a lot to go. Yeah, brakes could just do with a bit more bite, I'm having to pull quite a fistful there as I, uh, I was in the corner a little bit fast. 
Downshift with no clutch, my god. Soon the bike will ride for me. Upshift with no clutch. Oh, it's quite good actually because I, uh, I had a crash about a year or so ago and uh, broke and severed one of my fingers. So, and that was on my left hand. So the, um, the clutchless upshift and downshift is nice. Holy f this is fast. Holy f is quick. <laughs> that is quick. 0 to 60 on this is around about 3.1 seconds, so you can see why it's quick. It's it's talky enough and fast enough that you are. I'm having to tuck in to to feel like I'm staying sort of on the bike. It can. Jesus, what's the super dupe like? Because this could this feels like it can rip your arms off. Look, watch, let's just go now. Oh, it wants to lift. Yeah, it really wants to lift. Whoa, the front end wants to lift on this bad boy. Not today, my friend, not today. Where are we going? Yeah. I gotta concentrate on this bike. It's it's quick. It's properly rapidly quick. Look, bye bye. Pinned open now. Oh! Woohoo! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I like it! Oh, dry. The road's getting dry. Thank you, Lord. It really wants to go, this bike. It's got so much torque. I'm amazed. It's a 790cc. What the hell is the Super Duke like? That's got to be scary, because this is pretty rapid. Honestly, I don't know whether you need any more power than this for the road. It's so talky. It pulls and pulls and pulls and it's, it is begging, begging you to go. It just wants to be spanked. Oh, you naughty, naughty little bike. <laughs> it's worn these tyres up. Jump past this McDonald's again and I'm hungry. Right, I'm going to head out this way. Hopefully the roads are hot. Dry. I like the little, ooh, little rev match it does when you auto blip down. It's quite nice. It sounds like a beast as well. I do like the sound of this bike. Listen to that. It makes you childish, this bike. You'll notice the difference, I think, in this review when you when you're watching the video. Normally, I'm pretty calm on the on the on the audio, aren't I? I'm like fairly sort of like, ah, and it's got a three ten millimeter disc, and no, 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 it's very comfortable. Sod that! With this bike, it's just like Jesus. <laughs> it just makes you laugh. It makes you giggle, and it makes me want to go. I'm like. If I was on the V-Strom now, I'd be sat back relaxing, cruising behind him. Here, I'm like, I want to go past this guy. Why are you slowing me down? I want to go faster! What a bike! I can see why everyone rants and raves about this now. Everyone was telling me it's such a fun bike. Yeah, that is it. It is fun. Look, get out of my way. Oh, the torque is just... The suspension's lovely. The setup on the suspension, it feels really taut, like really planted around the corners, really planted when you're riding it. Um, over the bumps, you feel them, but it's not getting out of shape or anything. It just feels like, you know, pretty firm when you're going over the, the rough stuff. But uh, no, it's all right. Everything, I know everything is good on this bike. The, um, the, the couple of things that people had mentioned that I'd seen in other reviews, was the brakes and the suspension being non-adjustable and the tires well the tires feel fine the tires feel fine i don't there's nothing about them that's making me think oh i'm not too sure on that and the suspension feels perfectly set up now i'm pretty average sort of sized guy at six foot and um i think i don't know what 85 kilos maybe 80 kilos i'm around about 80 or 85 kilos 
so it's probably set up with m people sort of my hi height and weight in mind um, but no it feels great the suspension feels perfect I would not change the suspension um, the brake yeah I agree with slightly the front brake could just do with a bit more bite so it would be interesting to see that 890 with the Brembo one um, don't get me wrong it stops it, it stops okay it just feels a little bit soft yeah I just want a little bit more bite initially and then I want a little bit more progression through the stroke as I'm as I'm pulling on the lever um, but it's 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 okay just got to get used to it got to get used to it as a first ride goes pretty goddamn good uh, head down to M&P where I got this from I think they've still got a couple left in stock for six thousand seven hundred and forty nine pounds or if you're in the Philippines Ah, don't even think twice about it. This bike is freaking nice. I'll just slow down here because I don't want... Don't want to scare the horse. Talking of horses, 105 horsepower. Seems to be plenty. Woo! I am going to have to go back home to my wife and tell my wife that this bike is not very fast. I'm going to have to tell her, yeah, don't worry about when I got on rides. I'll be riding safe. The bike isn't quick. Oh my God! It is fast. It really wants to go. It, the, the grips in the tyres now and the roads are drying up. Oh dear me. This is comtastic. Huh. Woo yep. If you're watching this Arlene, that's my wife's name by the way. Um, the, the bike is it's it's slow, don't um, don't worry about it. I'll just be using it for commuting, that's all. <laughs> oh, it wants to go so much. Okay, officially I, I am in love. I love this bike now. Honestly, I was in two minds whether to get this. The brakes are feeling a bit better. I'm getting used to them. Yep, okay. Think when I've bedded the brakes in a bit, they're gonna feel a bit better. I can feel them just starting to improve slightly. Rough up those brake pads a bit. Roads are wet again, damn it. Oh, the throttle response when you put it in sport mode, it's beautiful. The throttle response is so nice. Just fractions, you're just moving it fractions and you've got perfect control. If I took my wife on the back of this, she'd brick it. I'm gonna have to go home and get some food, I'm bloody starving. But then if I go home, I can't, yeah. If I go home, then I'm not gonna be allowed to go back out on the bike again for a second ride today. I could see this being, let's just tuck it. That quick shifter is so smooth and the torque is just, I love it. It's really there, the torque is really there. It's so torquey all the way. But as soon as you hit that six, seven thousand, you get that extra little bit. Oh, it's, whoa! <laughs> it's nice, 3% battery. So I'll catch you next time guys. Bye-bye, say bye-bye to Juki.